Hello everyone, welcome back to Distributed Generation and Smart Grid Lecture. Here, uh, here we are going to discuss about um, various uh, cloud deployment models or various types of uh, clouds. So cloud uh, computing offers different uh, deployment models for implementation of uh, smart grid services. So there are three uh, such kind of models or three types of uh, cloud. Uh, they are basically three types. They are known as public, uh, private and hybrid uh, cloud. And um, sometimes there, there will be one more classification as community or government uh, cloud. So, so we can discuss about a public cloud. So the, this cloud deployment model or uh, this cloud type is the primary model of uh, cloud uh, computing. In this uh, particular model, users pay per use of the smart grid service. So mm, there is only, mm, there is not any limitation about which user can or cannot use cloud service because it is a public cloud. There will not be any restriction on any a particular uh, uh, consumers so because it's public uh, service providers can make different offers therefore smart grid services uh, can be charged or not charged based on the offered conditions so cloud provider uh, manages uh, the cloud in the smart grid and users can access the smart grid uh, through the internet and the, all the services in this cloud are standardized to meet compatibility requirements of smart grid applications. So this uh, kind of uh, public clouds are uh, actually uses shared resources. Uh, and the uh, whole computing infrastructure is uh, located on the premises of the cloud computing company, not with the utility that offers the cloud service. So the location remains thus separate from the customer and he has no physical control over the infrastructure. And this uh, as a public cloud used shared resources, they do excel mostly in performance, but uh, are also most vulnerable to various attacks because it is anybody can access uh, even though if, if uh, a smart grid working with a particular public cloud that the same cloud can be shared to some other uh, application. So uh, it is vulnerable to variable various attacks. And this cloud deployment model is uh, the primary model of uh, cloud computing and uh, users pay per use of the smart grid services. And the cloud provider is actually manages every uh, 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 cloud provider manages the cloud uh, in the smart grid. Then uh, private cloud. So this is uh, an internal deployment model. The, as the name impl implies, it is a private uh, cloud that works like a private network. So, however, it can differ depending upon the smart grid application requirement. So, mm, it provides the same uh, benefits of a public cloud, but uses dedicated, it uses the, the dedicated private hardware. So, uh, the it is not much vulnerable as that of uh, public and the uh, possibility of uh, uh, mal attacks are uh, reduced so private cloud means using a cloud infrastructure solely by one customer or organization it is not shared with others yet it is remotely located the companies have an have an option for uh, option of choosing an uh, choosing an on premise private cloud as well uh, which is more expensive but they do have a physical control over the infrastructure so companies can be opt this particular private cloud on premise but that will be more expensive the security and control level is highest while using a private network yet the cost reduction can be minimal if the company needs to invest in an on-premise cloud infrastructure. So you can increase the security when you are using a private cloud, but still whenever implementing this private cloud at, at your premise, it is uh, it will be uh, expensive. 
and third one is a hybrid cloud so smart grid uh, utilities take the advantage of uh, cloud computing with a cost efficiency way uh, then they can use the hybrid cloud deployment model this model combines the private and public cloud it combines the private and public cloud models for smart grids uh, so hybrid cloud of uh, uh, hybrid cloud means uh, using both private and public clouds depending upon their purpose for example a public cloud can be used to interact with the customers while keeping their data secure through a private cloud so we can utilize the advantages of uh, both these cloud in hybrid smart grid utilities uh, uh, when you are they are uh, take the advantage of uh, cloud cloud computing with a cost efficient way they should use uh, hybrid cloud because uh, they can utilize uh, tap the maximum advantage of private and public cloud here uh, so that is the hybrid uh, cloud and you can see that uh, different cloud deployment model and its uh, explanation here private cloud used for single organization can be internally or externally hosted public is uh, provision for open use for the public by a particular organization who also hosts the service and hybrid cloud is a composition of two or more clouds private or public then community means shared by several organizations typically externally hosted but can be internally hosted by one of the organization that is what is a, a, a community a cloud and you can see uh, usability of cloud computing deployment models in smart grid here uh, is a comparison uh, public and pr public private and hybrid cloud so in terms of complexity low complexity uh, public cloud is uh, low complexity and the high private and hybrid is complex and cost efficient Uh, public cloud is better you can see the uh, private cloud uh, hybrid cloud is uh, better than uh, private cloud in terms of cost efficient then scalability uh, better one is public cloud then uh, better one is hybrid cloud then public cloud and uh, after that only private cloud and in terms of security uh, private and hybrid is better than public compatibility uh, best one is hybrid cloud easy access to service uh, be best one is public cloud the smart grid usability best better one is uh, hybrid cloud so this is a comparison and cloud computing disadvantages uh, are uh, because uh, the access to any cloud uh, at any time at any location is possible but without an internet it is not possible so require constant and high speed internet connection that is one of the disadvantages then slower than desktop note application it will be slower than the desktop application and some of the features might be limited in cloud and data might not be secure as even though every if it if we argue that everything is secure uh, there will be uh, the possibility of uh, virus or something like that so it, data might not be secure and uh, for an example you can see a cloud based smart meter here uh, it is taken from a paper you can see a bidirectional communication is uh, one of the important feature of smart grid so this provide to control uh, devices and their operation with smart meters that collect information from the smart grid users uh, devices and check their status however if a new application needs to be added on this smart grid application the whole system must be restructured that is the disadvantages uh, in a, our 
conventional system so this can be avoided by using a cloud smart meter framework so one of the schematics shown here cloud computing your smart meters data are stored in the comp cloud computing field so not a private uh, hardware uh, any hardware uh, if you stored in a particular hardware means when you are increasing the number of devices the hardware will, will not be sufficient to store the data then scalability is a problem so uh, the this problem can be avoided by using a cloud storage so here you can see a smart meter application in cloud cloud computing field and all the devices meters uh, the you can see the smart meters uh, smart meter uh, it collect the data from the various devices and it is stored in the cloud so that is a one of the uh, schematic representation of a cloud based uh, smart meter